This is oxygen administration by non-rebreather mask. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to provide supplemental oxygen administration by non-rebreather mask to an adult patient. The patient has no other associated injuries. This is a non-trauma situation and cervical precautions are not necessary. You will be required to assemble an oxygen tank and a regulator. You will then be required to administer oxygen to an adult patient using a non-rebreather mask. I will serve as your trained assistant and will be interacting with you throughout this skill. I will correctly carry out your orders upon your direction. Do you have any questions? At this time, please take two minutes to check your equipment and prepare whatever you feel is necessary. So in this station, I will definitely need to have PPE, which are gloves and eye protection. I do not need to actually wear the personal protective equipment, uh, but it will be available if I choose to. And I just need to acknowledge that it's available and I would wear it if I was treating a patient. I will also need to have an oxygen tank. I will need to have a regulator. If my oxygen tank does not have a toggle switch on the top, then I will also need to have a oxygen wrench, and I will of course need to have the non-rebreather mask and the patient, which will be using a mannequin. I'm prepared. A 45-year-old male is short of breath. His lips are cyanotic and he is confused. You have five minutes to administer oxygen by non-rebreather mask. All right, my scene is safe and I have taken proper PPE precautions. I'll take my tank and remove the seal. I'll then turn the tank one quarter turn to blow off any dust and debris when it was filled. Pick up the regulator and make sure that the regulator washer is in place. And then I will line up the pins on the regulator to the pins on the oxygen tank. And I will tighten the T-screw, hand tighten only. I'm then going to once again turn the tank one quarter turn with the regulator on the zero and check for tank pressure. I'm at currently 2,000 PSI. This is a full tank and I'm going to check for any leaks and I hear none. I'm then going to lay the tank down for safety, attach the non-rebreather mask. Then going to, with the tank in the on position, turn the regulator to 15 liters per minute, which is high flow oxygen. Going to place my fingers over the one-way valve to pre-fill the oxygen reservoir. And when the reservoir is full, I'll work with the patient to place the mask over the mouth and nose. And when the patient's comfortable, I'll slip the elastic over the back of their head. I will tighten for a good fit and adjust the nose piece. The patient may then breathe through the mouth, nose, or mouth and nose. I'll watch the bag. Every time a patient takes a breath, the bag should be at least one-third full. If the patient is not breathing very much and the bag is remaining full with each breath, I can back down to 12 liters per minute, but I do not want to drop below 10 liters per minute. If I'm on 10 or 12 liters per minute and the patient is emptying the bag each time, then I will make sure I'm back up to 15 liters per minute. And I'm done with this station.